Well, well, well. Here we go again. Michael Sarah. Michael Sarah. Hmm. Well, I have to say, Scott Pilgrim is one of the worst films of this year I've seen. I mean, it's so bad. And I was, like, talking to a friend about it, and we, we couldn't believe how bad it was. And, you know, it's great that it's had really good reviews, but from watching the movie, I was kind of tempted to scratch my head. I mean, I mean it's just... It, the humour. I mean, is it even humour? I, I just... Like, it's just so, like, not funny. Like, I, I can't even class it as humour. I know that might sound a bit extreme, but... Okay, let me give an example, right? Um, well, I could give many, but here we go. Um, one of his friends, right? Scott Pilgrim's friend said... If your face had a head, no. Uh, if your if your head had a face, I punch it. Yeah. What? So he even recognizes that it's rubbish and it's just not funny. And like stuff in the alleyway. It's like, I don't like you, capiche? And he's like, but what the fuck is going on there? And, and then just the whole thing of he tried to do that really just oh tainted gag about dusting and cleaning, and then he even stops and questions what the hell this gag is supposed to be about or how it's supposed to make people laugh and. And it's just like, oh, give over, you lot. I mean, just stop. Just stop the movie right now. It's a pile of rubbish. Just stop. I mean, they've got all these really talented people here, like Jason Schwartzman, Anna Kendrick. Well, I'm not going to say Michael Sarah because he's not talented anymore, and he's just a one-trick pony. Um, you know, and you've got, like, Kieran Culkin, who was very good, and I think a lot of the cast were very strong. Some of them were a bit off, like... Most of the evil axes were crap, um, apart from Jason Schwartzman. I thought he was brilliant. I think he gives the best performance in the entire film. Um, and you kind of look at him and think, why isn't this film really good or just, you know, watchable at least? And it's not that, even, at all. I mean, it's not, it's not watchable. It's not great. It's definitely not really good, as people have been saying about it. I know it's, you know, making jokes of video games and references to this, and it's like a video game. But you know what? I don't care. I mean, it was just so bad. Like, you know, the, the plot is a bit like, oh, yeah, we we know what Michael Sarah's done in the past, so let's just try and disguise it as a different kind of movie. We could put video game effects and, you know, change the story a little bit. Like, oh, you know, um, the, he uh, goes out with somebody else before, and then a like, bit, bit of backstory that he goes out with some weirdo who must not be named because she's a real bitch, and he bumps into her at the cafe, like, later on. And then he's sort of split to decide between knives and Ramona, but he has to go for Ramona to defeat the to defeat the seven evil axes. And that's all the movie's about. I mean, it's a bit like watching Death Proof again. I mean, it's a bit like, you know, Tarantino said, you know what, I'm throwing in the towel um, because I love, you know, my movies have been good, you know, and then I'll just do a terrible one. I mean, that's the same thing with Edgar Wright. I mean, Shaun the Dead and Hot Furs are brilliant. Well, actually, I'll be completely honest. Hot Furs is pretty good, but it's still very good to the quality of Shaun the Dead. Anyway, this movie is nothing like Edgar Wright at all. I mean, there's just nothing... There's, all the humour is really American. Before, all his humour was really British. And, you know, he's come out saying that, oh, I don't think my humour is really British or whatever. And I understand the Americans got Shaun the Dead, and I'm, I've, I'm pretty sure they got Hot Fuzz. But here... I mean, anybody, anybody could have made this film, just for the fact that, oh, I get to do a bit of a geeky film, you know... Do video game, this, that, crap. And I'm sorry, but I just hated this movie. You know, I understand if people really love it, then it's kind of like Marmite and everything. And I respect people's opinions, but I, I strongly disagree with the positive feedback this movie's had. I mean, it's terrible. Like, there's so many bits in the movie where I felt like it was talking to me. You know? Like, one bit, he's um whacking his head against a pole. Sorry, just said it wrong. <laughs> just whacking his head against this pole, Michael Sarah. And I wondered if it was sort of like a re envision of Mark Commode whacking his head against the wall for Transformers 2 in you know, that video he did. Because I was just like, you know, this is my actual thoughts on the film. If I could just do like, you know, a minute or so with that, you know, like Mark Commode did for Transformers 2, that's what my review for the film would be, really. If I, if I could do that, just dong, dong, dong. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I hated this film. It's just so bad. I mean, the only positive thing I can really say is quite a lot of the cast, the cast were fine. Uh, apart from Michael Sarah, who was just wooden. And really, Michael Sarah, he is a one-trick pony. Like a friend told me, like a magazine said about it. And said, oh, he's a one-trick pony. He's never done anything good since Superbad in Juno. And I'll be honest, he hasn't. Like, he hasn't done anything brilliant. I mean, 
Nicanor and Yuwan were okay. And then, then the trilogy of terrible films came quite quickly. And then, obviously, Extreme Movie, which we knew was going to be terrible because it's got movie in the title. But I do like a um, scary movie. Um, so, basically, we have that. And then we have the trilogy of just terrible... It's just like a Reign of Terror trilogy, in my opinion. It, you know, could just release it online. Like, <laughs> you know, like, Michael Sayers, Reign of Terror trilogy, Paper Heart, Youth and Revolt, Scott Pilgrim, in brackets, can this get any worse? <laughs> I mean, just all the films have been terrible. All three of them are just absolute stinkers. I mean, just, like, okay, the, the, the actual, like, slight improvement, if you want to know, about this movie compared to Paper Heart and Youth and Revolt. The characters are actually likable, apart from Michael Sarah and um, the, the six of the seven evil exes. And I do like Jason Schwartzman, so he's the only interesting character there. Um, and I do like Anna Kendrick. I mean, obviously, you know her from Twilight, and, you know, she's done, like, Up in the Air with George Clooney, and she's very, very good in that. I think she's very good in this, too. But th the problem for me is this movie, you can't really figure out what it is. Is it a video game? Or is it someone's mind into a video game? I mean, I really can't figure it out. And for that reason, I think I got lost. And I thought, you know what? This is just fanboy. It's complete fanboy nonsense. I mean, it's one bit with um, Chris Evans. I think, I think that's what they call him. Because they got someone else over here called Chris Evans. So I get a bit confused. Anyway. So, he's whipping Michael Sarah's ass, right? Just absolutely kicking his ass. And guess what he does? Just to answer the fanboy crap of it all. He goes on a skateboard, he goes on a skateboard park and all this crap, then he dies and he's like, oh for God's sake, why couldn't you just kill Michael Sarah and then stop this terrible movie, because I really couldn't care any less. I mean, it's that bad. And like, the special effects and the look of it is great, it's like, it could have been like a three minute music video, and they could have crammed the story into three minutes, I mean, it's not a two hour movie, it shouldn't be a two hour movie. I mean, uh, you know, two hours long, almost. Uh, it's just, oh, I mean, I wanted to leave several times, and it was just painful. And the story contradicts itself, very much like his previous films. And really, this has to stop. It's not just this is a bad film. It's that this has to stop. Why are they giving Michael Sarah these films? That they're not even good. I mean, you know, if they were good films, possibly I could forgive it, but. They're not, and I, I really don't think I can forgive uh, the Hollywood crap people because this, you know, when people say this is oh mainstream Hollywood crap, like stuff that's been coming out, this is Hollywood mainstream crap. And I'm sorry if that sounds offensive or that is offensive to people, but I just think the movie is absolute turd. I just, I'm sorry, I fucking hated it. I mean, there's, uh, there's so many bits in it where you're thinking, I'm sorry, are you, are you talking to me? Like at the end, Jason Schwartzman shouts twice. He says this, this twice, right? He says two hours. Two hours, man! And I'm just like, yeah, two hours, gone down the drain. Yeah, thank you for pointing out that. <laughs> um, I, I just, oh, God, like, there's one bit when, um, Kim, she goes through, like, the action of, like, going to shoot her head because she's bored. It's like, oh, uh, maybe I should do that. And then Michael Sarah dies at the end. He's like, oh, I don't want to be dead. And I'm just like, oh, for God's sake, oh. And I actually wondered if I was dead because I was just tired and just, Oh, died de like just dead and just oh, I just I just felt like oh do you know what? Someone, someone shot me in the head right now coming out of the theater I wouldn't really care well I would obviously but I'm just being sarcastic because the movie's just absolutely terrible oh died of boredom fucking awful excuse my language again but oh and there are two like me like laughs in this movie for me like the Uma Thurman joke which I thought was pretty funny and. The line Michael Sarah said about, "Well, my baggage didn't try to kill me every five minutes." I like that. That's pretty good. And then, and then there's some um, really nice like visual moments. And uh, visually, you can't bash it. But a film isn't just on the visual side. It's about plot, the dialogue, and the dialogue. I mean, I wonder if it's just like a bunch of ideas thrown in a hat. I mean, the dialogue's awful. I mean, it's just so crap. Even a friend of mine was looking at me like, "Oh God, this is crap." And, and really, if people think this is a really good movie, then I think I've kind of lost faith with the human race again. I mean, it's just like, oh, please. I mean, come. I mean, if you analyze it and look into it for what it really is, it isn't a good movie. It's a bit like like saying to someone, oh, you've got a really nice skirt on one day, then the next day it's saying, oh, you've got a terrible skirt on now. 
and I just I don't really care anymore. No offense. I mean, this is what this movie is. Like one minute you think, oh, that looks really good. The next minute you look at it, it's crap. And I'm just I'm just a bit disappointed. I mean, I wasn't expecting a masterpiece, but after everyone saying it was great, I have to come in and make my honest judgment. I have made it, and it's rubbish. So overall, I give it one. Only just. I mean. To me, this is worse than Youth and Revolt and Paper Heart, and Paper Heart was considerably worse than Youth and Revolt, which I don't think is possible. And what I don't think is even more possible is this movie is worse than those two combined. So, if I really wanted to be honest, I'd give it so around a 0.4 out of 10, but just because of the visuals and the way it looked and some really nice, quite like quite funny little bits in between, like the P bar and just some really lovely visual moments, I don't give it away. Um, but because of those. I give it just a one because I'm being generous and really let's just stop. Michael Sarah is wooden, wooden, wooden and well <laughs> two scenes he was fine. Um but apart from that, I just thought he was really wooden and it should stop. Just this whole thing. I, I just had enough now. And yep, that's my opinion on Scott Pilgrim versus the Will.